Hi Geminis, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a reading for you guys today. It's going to be from July 27th to July 31st. Um, a quick energy check-in. We're going to see what your person is feeling, what they're thinking, what they're up to, and what energy this person could be bringing toward you from um, July 27th to July 31st. Okay. All right. So let's jump in and let's see what's going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? What do you need to know about your person? What is their person feeling and thinking? What is their person up to? Oh, somebody's person is stubborn. Okay. Broken promises, misled, trust is broken, unreliable. So I feel like for some of you, you're feeling like your person, you can't rely on them, or they tell you they're going to do something and they don't come through. Spirit, what messages do you have for Dream and Eyes? What is going on with their person from July 27th to July 31st. What can Geminis expect from their person? Some of you, your person is undecided about what they want. Honestly, I don't know what I want. Not sure if I want a relationship. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini? What is going on with your person? What are they feeling? What are they thinking from July 27th to July 31st? Pretending. I'm pretending to be happy that all is fine, but I'm miserable. So for some of you, I feel like your person, um, it's like they want to talk to you. They want to fix the situation, but they may be holding back, acting like they could care less. Uh, I'm not sure why this person is doing that. Let's see. Spirit, why is Gemini's person holding back? Why is Gemini's person holding back and not coming towards them? Separation. Withdrawal, disconnect, test of love, relationship breakdown. Let's get one more. Spirit, why is Gemini's person separated from them? Why are they not coming towards them? What are they feeling and thinking? Oh, so this person is lonely. Again, I'm feeling the burn of loneliness but I'm ashamed to admit that. So this person doesn't want to admit that they want you back. Maybe this person did something to you and maybe they don't want to apologize for it. And so they're just holding off on the situation. They're not wanting to talk right now. Maybe they're trying to figure something out, Gemini. So I feel like your person is going to be holding back unless something changes. So let's see what else comes out here. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini's person? stalking so this person could be stalking you just seeing what you're up to i often check on your social media to see what you're up to so if you haven't blocked this person so i feel like they just you know look on your social media to see what you're posting who's liking it who's leaving heart emojis things like that um you know since you guys aren't talking spare what messages do you have what can Gemini expect from their person? Mm -hmm. Someone wants to compromise. They want to fix something here. Let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. So I don't feel like this person really wants to give up on this connection. It's more like um, I'm sort of channeling this person did something wrong or said something wrong or didn't keep their word. And so they feel like because you don't trust them, that doesn't look good. For them, um, they don't look good in your eyes anymore. Maybe you held this person to a certain standard. Maybe you put them on a pedestal for whatever reason, and now they feel like they've let you down. And so they want to come back in and compromise and fix this. But they don't want you to think bad about them. They don't want you to change um, your perception of them. Like however you saw this person before, they still want you to see them in that way. But I don't feel like you do. I feel like you you feel like you can't trust this person anymore. Maybe they told you that they would never leave and then they walked away. I don't know why I feel like some of you were like crying over this person or this person was crying over you, but they're like hiding that. Spare, so what messages do you have for Gemini's? Oh, all these cards came out. Okay, I can't take all of them. There's so many. We have, they will call. We also have jealousy, hot and cold. A lot of them came out, so I'm just going to take the ones that flipped up upright. Um, all right, so we have opening up, jealousy, and we have hot and cold. On and off relationships, sending mixed signals, don't know what they want. They will call. So I feel like this person is going to call you. They're going to reach out to you at some point. 
major arcana and then we have jealousy it kills me knowing there could be someone else in your life oh this person doesn't want anyone else to have you but i feel like you don't want anyone else to have them either but they're already with someone so it's like a bit of narcissism going on here because how are their how is your person like um i don't want anyone else to have you but I feel like they're with someone else or th that could be the reason why you guys aren't talking because they walked away to someone else or they were dealing with someone else, possibly a third party situation doesn't have to be a third party for everyone. But I feel like for some of you, um, they already had somebody. And so you were waiting around on them to sort of um, either make a decision or I don't know. I feel like some of you were fine. You were fine with the way things were. And this person just like pulled away. So you're like, it's bad enough that you're with someone and I accept that but now you're going to pull away and act like you don't want to be bothered and so I feel like some of you just shut down like okay fine you know whatever and so I feel like you're not talking they're not talking neither one of you know what the other person is up to neither one of you know what the other person is thinking but you both love each other and want to be with each other you're jealous that they're with someone else you don't want them with someone else and they don't want you with someone else either I see this person coming back in um, to open a door that was closed they may have closed the door on this for whatever reason, but they're not done. I closed the door before, but I'm now ready to let you in. So I feel like they've done a lot of thinking about, you know, what it is that they want. Maybe this person just feels like they don't want to lose you because you meant a lot to them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What is their person feeling and thinking? Yeah, commitment. We also have left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. Yeah, so I feel like this person just walked away. They didn't say anything. They just like left. I don't know why I keep picking at the energy of someone like crying, being depressed, possibly thinking about this person every day, all day, or they're doing this with you. You're on this person's mind a lot. We have, let's take it to the next level because nobody else matters. All right, so somebody may come back in wanting to commit to you. All right, so let's get a couple more message cards and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Spirit, what is Gemini's person feeling and thinking from July 27th to July 31st? Oh, your person is not budging. These cards are sticking up. Oh, there it is. The witch. They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. That's hilarious. <laughs> so for some of you, your person thinks that you're casting some sort of spell on them or you have them under a spell. All right. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Gemini and their person? What can Gemini expect from this person from July 27th? Oh, this card wanted to flip out. All right, so we have broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who is damaged. They're, they've been through a lot. Look at this person's back. Okay, look at their arm. I feel like they've been through a lot and they just don't feel right talking to you right now or putting you in they're trying to i feel like this person's trying to protect you from something it's like maybe they have a bad attitude every day maybe they just don't feel like being bothered and they feel like if they talk to you like they're going to um they're like that energy is going to come out and they don't want to like hurt you or break your heart or something it's like this person is just not up to like being bothered or talking we have gossip there's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment but their vision too so this person could be talking to their friends about you or family members getting advice and um it may not be good advice from everyone that they're getting advice from spare what messages do you have i feel like somebody is telling them like to hold out or to not talk to you Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What can they expect from their person from July 27th to July 31st? I was trying to keep these cards from all sliding out of my hand. All right, so we have Discovery. 
They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feel, feeling powerless and trapped. Something happened with your person. It says they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down. Huh. Normally when that card comes out, I don't know if this person got caught. Or they saw something on your page. Maybe you posted something. Maybe you took a picture that they didn't like. Maybe you posted like a, um, a quote or something that they didn't like. And so they could be holding back because of that. They may think it has something to do with them. Like something subliminal. We have slipped away. Though they never had you to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. So for some of you, this wasn't a relationship, but I feel like that's what you're, that's where you wanted it to go. You wanted a relationship, but it never got there. But this person still feels like you're, you're a missed opportunity. We have energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you too connected. Yeah, this person still feel... It's like they... Um, it's telepathic energy between you and someone. You feel what this person is, is thinking or feeling or something. It's like you can feel their energy and they can feel yours. Maybe you know um, what's in their heart and they know what's in your heart. Maybe you, you feel like, oh, this person is always going to love me because I'm always going to love them. Like something like that is what I'm picking up on here. Sorry, guys. I kicked the camera. All right. So let's get one more. Spare, what messages do you have? For Gemini's, what can they expect from their person? We have dreams. This person could dream about you a lot. They've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality. Leah, this person still thinks about you, even if you guys are um, separated and not speaking right now. This reading is so damn triggering. I swear. Oh, my mama. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Okay, so we have mixed signals. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who has someone else and they're trying to figure out which way to go. Do they come towards you? Do they stay with this other person? Especially if they have a family with this person, if there's children involved. I don't know though. I'm sort of picking up the energy from your person that they're not really happy in this situation, but they're comfortable. And that's a big difference, you know? It's like being comfortable, having a living um, structure or, or a stable situation, right? And so you're in that situation because there's a lot of history. There's familiarity. You guys, um, you know, they are not you guys. They, they're they around this person every day, all day, right? But I just don't feel like there's a lot of happiness. And I feel like your person is hiding that they're not happy with someone else and that they want to come towards you, but they can't because that means walking away from an entire family dynamic. And so they're thinking like, how the hell do I do that? What would I look like doing that? What type of karma would I get? What type of tower moment would I have? All right, so let's jump into the tarot. Oh, wait, let me move some of these cards out of the way. Yeah, somebody here loves you a lot, Gemini, but they just have um, a lot of shit going on in their life and they need to um, figure th some things out. So they could be holding back from you on purpose not wanting to involve you in it all right so we have the nine of cups so you're this person's happiness wish fulfillment spirit what messages do you have for gemini's what is their person feeling and thinking from July 27th to July 31st, what can Gemini expect from their person? What can Gemini expect from their person from July 27th? I knew that card was going to fall on the floor. Give me one second. All right, so the card that fell on the floor is the High Priestess. Why am I like knocking everything around? Sorry about that. 
The card that fell on the floor is the high priestess. So this person has a lot of secrets. They're keeping something hidden. Whatever they're feeling and thinking about this connection, they're keeping it hidden. So you may be thinking that they don't love you. They don't want to be bothered. But I don't think it's that. I just think this person has a lot going on and they don't want to involve you in it. But I feel like someone missed the hell out of you but won't tell you because they're like, what good is it? I can't come to... Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from you. Possibly a water sign. Knight of Pentacles. I see this person coming back in. Seven of Cups. Trying to make some sort of decision. And the Hangman. Yeah, this person is stuck that you're dealing with. Pisces energy. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. An Earth sign. A Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. I feel like this person hurt your feelings before. They did something, said something, pulled away. Um, someone didn't think that you were going to allow them to walk away. And I feel like you did. And so now this person wants to come back in and fix something. But they're coming in slow with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What can they expect from their person from July 27th through July 31st? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I just feel like someone is no longer... This could be your energy, Gemini, where you're no longer being um, giving and loving and attentive to this person. You could have given them a lot of affection. Um, you were always there for them with that queen of pentacles. But now that it's in reverse, I feel like it's just the opposite. You're no longer there for that person. They're, they feel it. They want it back. It's like whatever you used to do or give them or however you used to treat them, they're longing for that and they want it back. Two of Wands, this person is trying to make some sort of decision between you and another person. We have the Ten of Swords here, the Queen of Wands. We have Strength and the Page of Cups. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo or um, a Fire Sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for that matter, with the Queen of Wands being here. But um, I said Leo because of the Strength card. We also have a Younger Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Page of Cups. This is someone who wants to offer love to you, but they feel like things are over. So they're not sure how you're feeling. They want to come in and they want to talk to you about something. There's going to be some sort of message that comes in from this person. Because the Page of Cups is here. They don't want to let this go. This person could also see you as the Queen of Wands. And seeing you as the Queen of Wands is your really goal-oriented, uh, your leader. It's like you have a lot going for yourself and they see that and they admire that in you. But with this Ten of Swords, this person feels like you ended something or you stabbed them in the back, betrayed them. I don't know if... <laughs> oh my goodness. Gemini's. I don't know if this person... I don't know if they feel like... They pulled away from you. Somebody walked away because the Eight of Cups was here. I don't know if this person walked away from you, expected you to chase them, and you didn't. And so they feel like you betrayed them. You stabbed them in the back with the Ten of Swords. But I feel like you didn't chase this person, not because you didn't love them, but because you were like, why do I why do I have to chase you? I thought we were on the same page. And because you felt like, okay, so now I know we're not on the same page, then I'm just going to let you come in and tell me what the hell is going on because I don't know. So I feel like some of you were blindsided by someone walking away. You didn't expect for this person to walk away from you, and they did. And now they've been thinking about things and they want to come back in and offer you something with this page of cups. I just don't understand this person's logic. <laughs> it's like, how does somebody walk away from you? And then things are stuck with the hangman, but they feel like you betrayed them and stabbed them in the back with the ten of swords. So something ended here. And this person doesn't like the way things ended. So they want to revive something here. Whether it's a friendship, relationship, a marriage, something. 
Sister, what messages do you have for Gemini and their person? What can Gemini expect from their person from July 27th to July 31st? The Nine of Wands. Somebody is extremely guarded, but they have a lot of love for you. This person is very emotional about the situation. We have the King of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have the Devil. There's an addiction or an obsession that this person has with you. Could be sex could be just that they love you you know the devil is all about lust temptation sexual addictions or any addiction for that matter but i feel like because the king of cups is here with the devil and the nine of wands someone's extremely guarded they don't understand their feelings for you but they do love you a lot and i feel like you love this person as well but you don't understand what the hell is going on with them so it's sort of like you're being standoffish because you're waiting for this person to tell you what the hell is going on. And you're like, I'm not going to do anything because I don't even know what to do. Because you, I don't feel like you were the one who walked away from this. Now, for some of you, it could be the other way around. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. You know your story better than I do, right? Um, but there's something about this situation where your person feels like you did them wrong. And you're feeling like they did you wrong. So there's some sort of miscommunication or misunderstanding or something here. But this person still wants this connection. So maybe you could be dealing with the Capricorn here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? What can they expect from their person from July 27th through July 31st? Your person is stubborn as hell. My cards are sticking. Like, this don't make no sense. I'm just going to go ahead on and pick it out because <laughs> it's not coming out. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. All right, so for some of you, this person's working hard. They're trying to get their life together. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles, right? So they see you as someone who has their shit together, right? And so they're trying to fix something in their life. They're trying to get on track with this Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person works a lot. They could even work at night. Okay, because it looks like here in this card, um, you know, it looks like dark in the in the background. And um, I just feel like you're going to get some truth to the situation and some clarity. You're going to find out what is really going on here soon. Because this person is still hanging on to you with four of pentacles. They could also be hanging on to their money. They may be having some financial issues or they're incurred some sort of debt. And they need to um, deal with it. With the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I see this person wants... Um, they want things to be stable again with you. And so they feel like making things stable within themselves. Once they do that, they can come towards you and tell you what's going on with the Ace of Swords. Truth, honesty, clarity... Bringing something to light, fixing the situation is what I see your person doing. Um, I, I see them thinking about it a lot. All right, let's get a couple more. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What is going on with their person? What can they expect from their person from July 27th through July 31st? Uh -huh. page of swords page of cups came out already and then we have the hermit this person's doing a lot of thinking some of you could be dealing with the virgo somebody's trying to think about what to say to you five of cups this person is longing for you they're hurting inside but they don't want you to know it they're definitely not over this connection this could be both of you feeling this way though you're not over this person as well you still long for them. You still love them. It's, it's like this person still holds a space in your heart. For some, I don't know why I'm picking up for some of you. You're angry with this person. Spare, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Gemini's? Uh-huh. Oh, I almost lost this entire deck. Yeah. We have the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords reversed. Well, the Six of Swords would have came out like this. 
<laughs> that's how it sort of like slid out the deck sideways i don't know what to make of that except for this person may feel like you're gone but you're really not but because they're not talking to you they wouldn't know that right <laughs> because they're i mean like how would they know that if, if they're not talking to you but they feel like you walked away or you turned your back or something i'm just gonna leave it the way it came out here sideways all right so we have the knight of wands knight of swords air sign libra gemini aquarius or fire sign aries leo sagittarius preferably a sagittarius with the knight of wands but expect movement okay um knights are travelers so expect for this person to travel towards you in some kind of way for some of you you may live at a distance from this person and maybe they want to travel towards you there's communication coming in it's like they're going to take action this person may have some words that they want to say um just try not to argue with this person they may come in like very argumentative about something because there's a misunderstanding but i feel like it will get cleared up okay so those are the messages that i have for your reading gemini's like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie to row i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and i will see you guys in the next reading bye